So today uh, I'm just doing a simple project. I had this table that was attached to a to a kind of a, a one mount, and it was a pain because it, it, there's no place to put the table while you were driving, and they would shift around, bang around. So what I'm doing now is I got two brackets, and I'll post on this on this YouTube video at the, uh, underneath the comments uh, where I got those brackets. But anyway, the brackets are going to go one here, one over on this side, and they'll fold up and snap in place, and then it'll just the whole table will fold down. And it'll be a big enough gap to let air go in through here, so it's going to be a way of having a table in here and not have to worry about storing that table when we're actually moving down the road. And the main reason for us to do that is that we don't keep our kitchen set up, our normal table that's over here. We just leave this in two the two beds all the time and that way if we want to come in here it's raining and we don't really want to set up a 10 by 10 we can uh, my wife can eat over here on this countertop and then i'll have a little place here to flip up use a laptop or have a have a snack while we're inside so it's going to be pretty simple i'm going to put those brackets on and uh we'll go go downstairs in the shop and we'll we'll do that real quick so here's the table this is the bottom of the table with the brackets and like I said this bracket it just you unsnap this here basically the whole thing folds up against the wall like I said that thing would flip up and fold up against the wall the main thing we're looking at here is I'm gonna mount them about a half inch from the edge and uh, you could go all the way up here against here that would make it real tight edge the only trouble was I have that vent for the air conditioner so i want to leave a little bit of gap i'm going to give it about a half an inch yeah you know, stuff got built fall through there but it gives me a little bit of play when this thing folds down that way that that vent will fit under there and i don't have to worry about it binding or anything when it folds up okay got my brackets mounted onto my table i use three screws captain obvious here don't buy don't get screws that are too long that'll go all the way through the top of the table like i said these barely go they go about uh, they probably go three quarters of the way through a little tough getting this one way back here in the corner but worked out pretty good and like I say this thing here just has a clamp and uh it just slides slides down like that and that, that, that table folds down then when like I say when you pull the table up it just you know, just snaps into place lever holds it in place so it's pretty nice design I like these uh, like I say I left about a half inch gap here which will give me a, a gap between the counter but I just kind of want to do that for that, that uh, vent for the air conditioner so anyway I'm gonna go upstairs and we've got six screws to put in the back of here that's gonna go into the cabinet now if I want this to really be beefy that cabinet's just got a thin quarter of an inch paneling on there I'm just going to use that the thread into these now what I could do if I wanted to beef it up I could put a board behind there and thread into that board or I could just put a, a toggle bolt through and put a washer on the back side and I'm gonna try it with this these screws I'm not thinking I'm gonna use a lot of pressure on this I'm not really gonna be banging around so I don't think it's gonna rip loose those threads but like I say, if you want it a little more beefier, you can go through and let's put that board on the inside up on the camper side and like I say, inside that air conditioner compartment. Put a piece of wood or washers. But we're just gonna thread it through that. I'm using this pilot, little pilot drill bit right here. That way it doesn't split anything out. All right, we'll be going up to the camper and getting this thing put in place. Okay. I've, uh Attach this and this I thought it was gonna be easy, but I'm a little bit trouble maybe because I didn't Make sure these were square when I want to put them on but it seems to be a bind in it a little bit And if you see I pull it out here You'll see it, it actually flaked a little bit of paint off there It doesn't want to fit real good in that but it kind of fits snug anyway, which is good Then when this thing comes up like this Snaps into place And it's a good old table like that so I'm okay with it except for I wish I got the stainless steel ones that way it wouldn't have scratched the paint off of that like that They have actually the stainless steel ones. I think were a little cheaper than the black ones, but I just kind of wanted to stay with the neutral look 
so that's worked out pretty good for me and uh again the i just threaded in two screws it has a place for three and uh, it threaded in pretty good like I say if i find out that this isn't strong enough which it seems really strong uh, i may go and put toggle bolts in that just as a little screw that goes through with a washer on the other side or a little block of wood in the, on the inside here you know inside of here that way it's a little bit something more to attach it to but mainly we're not going to put any weight on that other than a laptop or a plate of food so i want to see perspective and say that's where you're the bunk is on this side and the door and so you can just kind of sit around here and sit in here and you've got a table right there so i'm pretty happy with that i think it's going to work out because it'll ha it gives me my table then like i say when we're i'll set this over here and uh take these two levers right here and just hold it down and then it just sets back like that and like i say the air conditioning vent, like I say, it's it's right through the back here. It has a nice nice inch and a half gap to go through. So it's gonna get plenty of ventilation. So, if you like this high deal, and you wanna know more, uh, just mention something in the comments. Um, I will post where I got these brackets. Like I say, there's stainless steel ones, there's white ones, there's black ones. Uh, you can get there a little bit different prices. I think they were these were I think $18 or 14 or something like there's some that are 14 some are 13 I got them on Amazon That's about it